So, again, I can't tell you anything. I'm going to say this, though. People always call and ask me about that house. Uh, maybe one, two out of ten, I find interesting to talk to. I found you interesting to talk to. For the most part, I don't talk to people. Matter of fact, I don't even know why I'm talking to you because I usually don't do that. <laughs> so I want to get into real estate, but don't know where to start. Well, what I would say is to join the Future Cash Flow Club. It's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling, we talk about creative deal structuring, buying houses subject to, all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about. You don't need a real estate license or any of that. Wow, where do I sign up? Well, I would say go to futurecashflowclub.com. That's futurecashflowclub.com. You can even get a free trial. Try it out today. Hello, thanks for calling. Yeah, is this Chris? This is Chris. Yeah, this is Bruce Davis. Hey, how are you today? You probably talked to so many people. Do you remember no, I who I am? Earlier about your, uh, yeah, about your parents or something, right? Yeah. So yeah, I remember you. What are you asking me, sir? Yeah, so I was just asking, um, did you want to uh, try to sell the house or something, or what were you trying to do? With no, it? it's it's not my home. Uh, did you all go through any kind of uh, will process or probate or anything like that? No. Uh-uh. Because it could still be uh, sold, even if it's not yours, if you're an heir, because you're one of the children, right? Yeah. And but I, I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to do that. But let me ask you a question. Have you yeah. seen the home? I have not seen it. So how do you know about it? It's public record. Whenever there is a foreclosure or an auction mm -hmm. coming up on any property, it's public record. Anybody can see it. Um, right. And it just shows as a public record. So they have to notify. So, I, I understand. I, I got that. So what do you value the house to be worth? We would buy it. Well, we would have to f figure out that part. That's not the hard part. That's no, 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 no. Part. I'm not asking you for any type of deal making. Yeah. You you haven't seen the home. So what would you think if it came up to auction? What would you bid on? It? I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to auction. It wouldn't make sense because we would be going in blind and we wouldn't know what we were buying. People do it all right. the time. Right. That's why I'm asking you. That, that, that's that's silly to do it that way. That's why it's better to get with the homeowner or the family members and work a deal out that way. So we'll actually right. know what's going I, on with the property, get you the most we can for you, and, you know, things like that. I understand that. How would the homeowner know what it's worth? We would go through a process. So since it's going through foreclosure, the way it works is the uh, when we get in contact with the lender, they would do what's called a BPO, a broker's price opinion. They would send out a real estate agent. They would get a number, and they would evaluate the condition of the property, and then they would have a number in mind from that point, and then we would just make a deal from that situation, even if it's over leveraged, which it probably is when it's in these type of reverse mortgages. We would do what's mm -hmm. called a short sale, and I don't want to give you a whole master class. It's a lot of moving parts, but we can solve the problem pretty easily. We do them all the time. Okay. Most people don't even think they have any options. That's the thing. Everybody says, well, let's go on the option, let it go, and they just give up, and they don't even – try anything it's not any not really anything that you would have to do other than you know you and your your brothers and sisters or whoever would have to you know be on the same page that's the that's the hardest part of all is dealing with the people the real estate is easy it's these people <laughs> if you want the you truth tell if you want me. the honest to god truth yeah <laughs> no i understand what you saying but you just said the real estate part is easy but you it's gave the me people. all these options that ain't easy you talking about the short well, loan and all of that? See, you know all this terminology is easy to you. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, easy. it's just dealing with the people is the most complex no, the part. People I, in this, I understand what you're saying. You got the siblings, mm -hmm. and, you know, they fighting all of that stuff. I understand. Uh, but if, if, it, if the worst thing, though, is to just let it go for nothing when y'all can get something for it. You know what I mean? And it's well, not like you have to do any of the hard work or anything other than agree. Well, see, That's the hardest thing. I understand what you're saying. I didn't have mm -hmm. several people tell me that. I don't understand, though. Without I'd be happy to, more than happy to break it down for you. It's, 
it's a, you know, it's a process that we do all the time, you know, and it's just, like I said, the hardest part, if anything is getting, if there's family members involved, if everybody can no, agree, see, that's forget, the issue. Let me say something to you. Okay. X all that out. Forget the family members. That ain't a problem. That ain't an issue. Okay. Um, okay. I just don't understand how you going to buy something you don't even know what it's worth. But you saying well, the numbers that dictate to you whether it's worth and what it's worth. Yeah, we Is have. That, a, it's a process. That's basically the short answer. There's a there's a whole process that goes into it. We contact the lender, let them know that hey, we want to not just let the house go to auction like that. The lenders don't want the house back anyway. I don't know if you know that or not. They don't. Yeah, I know the they house. don't. Yeah, they don't want it. So they're gonna. No. They they would rather somebody like me come in and drop them a bunch of cash on their desk and take the take the house and sell okay, it for so a dollar. Okay, so you saying it don't have to go to probate or nothing? Uh, no, we can do what's called an affidavit of airship, and every case is different. So, like I said, I don't want to just tell you that you can't do this or can't do that. Every case is different. I would have to know more information about your particular case, but just know that there are options. Just letting it go to auction is really not the best option, and most people do that all the time. They just let the bank go take it for no reason. Man, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. <laughs> so, so it's something wrong with the house or something when you say it? Why you say that? Excuse me? Why'd you say that? Excuse me? I didn't hear you. What did you say? I said, I said, why did you say that I'm killing you? Because what you saying makes sense. And I already know mm -hmm. that it makes sense. But at the same, and you, when you say you just letting it go and don't get none, that's what's killing me. Because it's so, uh, I just don't want to go through that. And it's a reason right. for that. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I'm yes, saying the sibling part and all that is this would probably be one of the easiest things to do for you because it wouldn't be that issue. But yes. you know that it's going to auction, right? Yes, sir. You do know that? Yes. Do you know the date? Uh, let me pull your file back up one second here. Uh, three seven. Is that right, there? right. Uh, March seventh. Right. So who has it? Mill Staff and Singer, two o'clock. Yes, yes. You heard of them before? I deal with them all the time. I have an inside track over there. They get my paperwork through when I need it. <laughs> He's something else. They know man. I'm about the business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let me say this to you. All the okay. stuff you talking about doing, can uh -huh. it be done before then? Well, what we would do is postpone the auction. That's step one. Before we can do anything else, we stop that auction. But if we so don't raise you would our hand go and say to anything, them, you would go to them, and they would agree to postpone the auction. We can get them to agree, yes. There's several strategies for that, yes. I, I just stopped four auctions last week. Because you know that that's not the – you know that's just the law firm. That's not the mortgage company. Yeah, they have to have a third party represent the bank. Exactly. Right. And this is with know. Bank of America, it looks like on here. Bank of America. Yeah, no, no, that's that's not who got it, bro. Oh, I'll so they sold it to somebody else. Not, yeah, yeah, they sold it to somebody else. And see, I don't even know how Bank of America got it. I know why they did it, because they know that, you know, eventually they don't want to hold that paper, and they don't want to foreclose. A lot of these reverse mortgages, a lot of people just don't know that there's options, like I say. It's only two ways they can take a house if it's on a reverse mortgage. One, they don't pay those taxes, they can take it. Or two, a person deceased, and they don't say anything, and they just let it go. And they're like, well, I don't have any options. And a lot of people don't know that there are options to solve these problems. It is well, legal mumbo-jumbo, but it can be done. Yeah, and I know that there there are options. <sighs> Chris, Chris, Chris. I don't know. Man. But but just know you're dealing with the best. <laughs> <laughs> How do I know that? Well, you can Google me. <laughs> no, I, I am Googleable, but not for that reason. For other stuff, but yeah. Oh, for um, for real estate, yeah, I've been buying real estate here for a few years, and so we've dealt with pretty much every problem you can come across in real estate, and these difficult that or appear to look difficult deals are the ones that we actually uh, do better than anybody else. Well, see, I still, Chris, I don't understand how you ain't looked at the property. 
If well, you're interested such, in it. Well, it doesn't even matter what the house looks like, to be honest, because we're going to pay what the value of the property is, regardless of the situation. So say if the house is destroyed, say it needs plumbing, a new roof, and say a bunch of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to buy it at the price that makes sense to that. It won't even matter. It has nothing to okay. do with anything. And see, it ain't in that kind of shape. Don't get me wrong. I just, it just seems like uh, that would be step one first. Uh, yeah. Well, I would love to see it, you know, and see what's going on and see what options are available. I mean, you know, most of the time, do you know what the uh, balance is, what they say is owed? No. I'm, you know what? I screwed up. I should have asked them, but I don't know if they would have told me anyway. That's that's the other question. They probably would have, but uh, I didn't ask them. <laughs> Did they know you were the uh, the child of yeah. the uh, yeah okay. yeah 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 we got that far. Matter of fact, I had it. You make the second uh, interesting conversation I didn't had about today because I called the uh, I finally found out of all this time who the mortgage company was, and I've never been able to find that out. And I know they people say it was Bank of America, it wasn't Bank of America. Um, yeah, so that's I probably had who had it back in 2009, it looks like, on here. Well, see, I got letters that heard on the property. You, I'm telling you, this has been an ordeal, and it's crazy. And and the craziest part about it is how they just let this house sit this long, man. I thought this wow. would be something that would just go right away. and But through knowledge and, and finding out stuff, I see why. It is where it is because it's then I with the reverse mortgage it should have been that my initial thought and my dad's initial thought was because that's what they told him when he passed they automatically get the home. Well, not it's a legal process. They no, have to go see, through. Stop! Through. Stop! The, hold on for a minute. When you mm-hmm. don't know what you getting ready to say. You think what they said is fact. Mm-hmm. You right. know different. <laughs> you know different. But when you don't know that, you go by what they say. They said my right, father they told me. As well. Yeah. That when you passed, he told me, if something happened to me, get to clear the house out, call the people up, tell them what happened in the state house. Now I know, just like you know, that's not just the case. Mm-hmm. And how See, long has it been uh, sitting like vacant? Uh, it's been sitting probably four, four, five years. Wow. Yeah. 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 Well, we had the pandemic the, come through there too, so that kind of well, that ain't thing. that had nothing to do with it. Uh, all the like I said, the initial people. I got the paperwork that they got the the mortgage from. It's then went several times to different people, and I don't understand it. Again, I don't understand why they didn't do something before now, but now it is to where it's at. And I even had to state, I had to go to court for this, man, Mm. because Medicaid said that, my mom still owned the home. And if she still owned it, they wanted it. So it's been a crazy ordeal, but it is what it is. So I just can't so tell just, you. Go ahead. So they just send you all around the circle back and forth. Just well, to, that's, you know you. what? You know what? That's okay. Because I, I learned a lot, man. I learned a lot about this. I've learned a lot about health care, Medicare, and real estate. So it's, it's, all it's connected. Been, yeah, it is. It is. And it's a big game, man. It's a big game. So I can't tell you that I want to do something. I just can't. I had to talk to my brother. And if he said go for it, I might go for it. But I know we're on a limited time. Exactly. Okay. 
And you say you don't even know what's old on or anything, huh? Because that's the thing. Well, it, what, it just what, goes up what, every month. what, the last figures I saw that what was old on it, uh, it was like hundred thousand dollars something, man. Oh, okay. okay. Well, yeah. And you know that didn't make sense to me because I don't know if I, what homes are going for in that area. Because it says on this thing here, the loan amount was one hundred and seventy-four thousand. I'm like that. Don't yeah. Make sense either. No, don't. No. That's what I'm telling you, man. I said a hundred some thousand. That don't even make sense. You know the house ain't worth that much. Not in that area. Mm hmm. And that's the kind of stuff they do to make sure that nobody can get it but them, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't really, know either. Cause I just know this game goes deep down a rabbit hole. I, I know when you start asking them questions, I say, you sure you want to go through that class? Because it's a class for every little thing. <laughs> yeah. So my point is, what they saying with that amount, how, you're going to have a, uh auction. Who's going to buy it for that amount? Most of them get bought back by the bank, and then yes, uh, there's okay. another process for that. And then it's another process, right? I found that it's out. Separate set of rules, yeah. Then you have up to yeah. one year to redeem it from that point. So it's like all kind of crazy stuff going on with this stuff. 